Hey, what's up, chillins, villains, people out there? Today we're gonna be checking out the Travis Scott ID Magazine beanie little collab thing, and then the Palace et Far hoodie. Wake up, get it, wake up, get it, wake up, get it, wake up, get it. Alright, first things first, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, that thumbs up down below. I forgot to mention, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a review on these Yeezy Quantum basketball. These are the court shoes for basketball they're the basketball version and so i've been playing basketball in these monsters of a sneaker so towards the end of this video you can just skip forward if all you wanted to see was a review for these suckers but we are going to get into this travis beanie first he did a little thing for id magazine and then they released some merch the, the stuff was kind of crazy looking but this beanie looks kind of dope Looks like the beanie is the only thing inside this bag. There's also not any sort of tagging on this plastic. There is some warning information, so I don't know if that helps anybody. But yeah. Other than that, we'll just open us up right now. This is a great color. Kind of wanted that uh, dark olive. It's really vibrant of a green. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe, but it seems like a pretty bright green, even though it is this forest green color. Everything is embroidered on here. Got some uh, different labels, obviously Cactus Jack. And then on the back, you got ID Magazine by that one artist to help do this collab. Um, but yeah, Cactus Jack for ID Magazine 2021, Houston, Texas, Los Angeles, California, London, England. So... On the inside, no tagging at all. Just, you know, some thick stitch lines and whatnot. Yeah, not a whole lot of anything special for this beanie. I'm not sure if it's gonna resell or anything like that. I didn't really buy it for that, but just cause, I don't know. It just seemed like a really basic piece and it looked kind of cool with the other uh, embroidery on the back here. It just, <laughs> I guess it makes sense cause it says ID Magazine. So that's kind of cool and then it has the the face when you look at it that way. I guess I'll throw it on real quick, take off my Sonics hat. My hair might be a little crazy, but you know. Oh yeah, this beanie is nice. Has a good amount of stretch, should fit anybody. Nice and loose, not extra long or anything like that, but yeah, I definitely don't need it right now because it is so nice and warm. Lately, it's been really nice, so I might just have to wait until fall or something to rock it. But you never know, sometimes it can work with a fit and you just, you know, you just have to deal with it. So, now we'll get into this palace hoodie. This was from a few weeks ago. I haven't really been grabbing any palace lately just because I've been trying to save money for my patent. Um, yeah, so we have a black palace sticker, pretty dope. And then we have a receipt return shipping paper thingy, and then the hoodie. Palace always puts their merchandise inside of these Palace branded Ziploc bags. We have a little label down at the bottom corner. I'll zoom in for you. That is what we're looking at there. And so, uh, yeah, this hoodie was made in collaboration with Stella Atois. They're great uh, Belgium or imported from Belgium lager beer. It's a great lager. I, yeah, it's so smooth, beautiful flavor and everything. So it's like, I, I'm a, I'm an alcohol lover. I'm gonna have to get this hoodie because I love Palace. I love uh, Stella Trois, just kind of like that high class sort of feel you get when you're out having drinks and you order one or you sit at home and you have one. Um, I don't have any of the nice fancy uh, glasses that Stella is really popular for, but you know, I still got it from the glass bottle. So they're kind of using that Stella logo on this palace. You see these, I don't know, what is that on the side? Leaves or something like that? They're taking hints from that. Yeah, you got some of those same exact uh, graphics around Stella Etoire and then around palace. And obviously you can't forget about that gold color they got on there that matches really well. In here, you do have a piece of tissue paper. Just, yeah, keeping that graphic nice. You also have a moisture reducer. Yeah, that gold flake, that, that is quite the gold. I mean, obviously it's not real gold or gold, actual gold flake, but <laughs> you know what I mean? That chromed up or that, that shiny print. So you have palace, 
Artois on the sleeve. I think that's what it says on both of these sleeves. Yeah, it looks like on both sides you do have that palace Artois. And then you have your label on the back of the neck. This one is actually a really fancy label, a one-off, only on this piece or this collaboration little tag here. So that's kind of a cool little touch there. As you can see, it's a size large. And then down at the bottom left, you also have this tag letting you know the branding is official and all that fun stuff. Palace Stella Etoire hoodie. That's what this one's called. Or just hood. Palace Stella Etoire hood. Uh, this is a really nice thick hoodie. Just the same regular quality that you would be expecting from Palace and all of the hoodies. It's about the same, the double layer hood on there. So yeah, I'll just go ahead, I'll throw this on here. And this was a size large uh, palace shirt I was wearing underneath. So you guys can know the size in a size large hoodie, size large t-shirt. Their sizing is pretty much runs the same across all their, all their uh, different designs that they have. And I'm six foot one, about 150 pounds. So you can see how this fits here. How did I fit it with uh, these dunks? I thought they kind of went the best with it since they have the gum bottoms, but I don't know. It doesn't really go that much with the gold. It's all right though. So let me know what you guys think about these graphics, about that big gold, bold graphic we got on the back there. Also, what you think about this uh, Cactus Jack uh, beanie? I, don't know. I thought it was just a dope little piece I could grab. It wasn't too expensive. And the other stuff from the ID uh, collaboration or with Travis promotional stuff was kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit weird. And I was like, mm, do I really want to spend my money on that? Am I going to really be wearing it? Sometimes it's okay just to say no, just to skip because there's going to be more drops in the future. And you can always trade stuff around for some of those new items that you really want that you're looking at. I mean, there's really no use in beating myself up about not getting any certain drops or skipping something. I'm like, oh no, I'm I actually gonna want it in a few weeks when everybody else gets theirs or something and I mean just playing that game you got to learn how to deal with yourself and, and handle it so anyways yeah mental state gotta stay on top of it but we are going to uh, go into these quantum basketball sneakers now one thing I want to let you guys know about right off the top is that these are extremely warm sneakers they do have this venting on the sides and you think that it was super breathable and you could just feel the air flowing through them, but there is a liner on the inside of this basketball sneaker that feels like it's almost padded. So underneath this venting here is just more layers of different fabrics in here that uh, are trying to keep you real structured in there and keep your form looking nice, make sure you're not breaking your ankles, all those things. And then I did find that it actually isn't that hard to get your foot in here because the back has so much stretch back here that it, your heel just easily slides in there really well. I haven't had any parts of the shoe wearing on me excessively or anything like that. Not really too much of a crease here, but they really don't give you much bend. So even when I'm playing, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really let my foot move that much in there. It doesn't have a whole lot of movement to it while I'm just playing around. But you know, from far away, that X, that's just what got me. I saw a few people wearing these early on. I was, oh man, I gotta get my hands on a pair of these suckers. And then it just so happens that I'm able to ball in them, which is a double bonus. I mean, that's just, that's just amazing that I actually have the opportunity to do that. So these are very, very wide. As you're playing around, you can really feel that on there and your foot really doesn't even have the option to really roll or anything like that. And then you have, if you tighten this really tight up at the top, which I do, I lace this all the way to the top lace. There's a top lace up here. And so you can really cinch it down. And when you do that, you get that extra lockdown that really helps so that your foot really you know, like I was saying, it doesn't have the option to roll. So you have that really tight up there and that is nice, but again, it is, it locks in that heat. That's the one sad thing about these sneakers. One bonus that I'll let you guys know on, if you have the chance to get some thin wool socks, that might be a good option for you with these sneakers so that if your foot does get a little bit damp or something in there, that they stay nice and the foot doesn't get all irritated or anything like that. Cause that can be the worst when your foot is irritated in some sneakers, or at least for me, I have really sensitive skin. And then for grip, the traction on these things is really amazing on even a really dusty court. And you can see some of the dust is sticking to these sneakers from the court still. But yeah, it, it has such great grip. And I think that does have to do with how wide that, that uh, sole is. 
there's just so much there and these are pretty big sneakers so if you wanted to you could go true to size a lot of people are saying size up I went up half a size and after wearing them playing basketball in them for a while I do think I probably could have gone true to size for the basketball model since I'm gonna be playing basketball in them but for any lifestyle or just you know walking around you're probably gonna want to size up half I mean some people have sized down half because they have a weird looking foot or the foot shape of theirs is perfect for these and so they can size down but for me I did actually go true to size on a lifestyle model I did a review for those I think a little review anyways those teal ones and honestly it's just my foot just felt crammed in there it looks seemed like there wasn't any room in the toe box area so uh, yeah I got rid of those real quick traded those away and now I have a size up and yeah hopefully you have a good review on these they are like I said heavy and warm so uh, you're really wearing them just because you like the silhouette you like the sneaker you're not wearing them because they're a top shelf basketball sneaker they're definitely just about uh, <laughs> looks and I mean they definitely do work as a basketball sneaker but I think you could find uh, some better ones that are going to perform because these definitely are still designer so they're designer basketball sneakers and uh, I don't really care about you know having that extra edge of the perfect shoe on so I'm cool I'm not good enough to even notice that much of a difference between wearing this shoe and a more athletic basketball sneaker instead of the stylish looking Yeezy that we have here uh, <laughs> hopefully that helps you guys out and before I let you go I'm gonna shoot some info at you what do we got what have I been looking at lately uh, oh this one is funny I love Rick and Morty so much mom says stop playing doom it's satanic me but the point is to kill Satan my mom you son of a bitch I'm in <laughs> it's so funny I don't know if you've seen Rick and Morty but he does that scene where he says you son of a bitch I'm in it but uh, a sucker in his mouth and then well the one episode I'm thinking of all the it's like the Rick universe and so there's all these Ricks and like he has this secret code <laughs> or something that he says to another Rick a future Rick or a past Rick and they understand and they know that it's a secret plan or whatever so they say you son of a bitch I mean oh no, wait oh no wait I think he was maybe it's a different episode but he was also gathering a team of people to steal something yeah <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'm not gonna go into the episodes. It's been a little while since I watched some of them, but other one, here we go. This is a Baptist in a charismatic worship service. <laughs> you have the Star Trek crew down here and they are just going loopy. Whatever weird laughing or craziness they got going on with them. And then you have the Baptist there in the middle. Spock is just standing there all still, just like, what are these guys doing? Uh, I mean, it's funny. It's it's a funny one. I was raised in a charismatic church. And then there's this other church that I went and visited one time. And those suckers, they had flags. They were flying these giant flags with lion heads on them and lambs and all that crazy shit. Uh, <laughs> seriously, it's so funny. I mean, but then after going there a few times, kind of getting to know a few of the people, I started feeling a little bit less weird about the flag waving. And you know, when they were waving their flags, just trying to get into it and all that, because you want to be spiritual, right? And all these people around you are all being spiritual. And the flag wavers, like they're ultimate spiritual, you know, giving up all of their pride to wave this flag on the stage the entire time there's music playing. <laughs> it is a sight to see. It's uh, some people make it a career. Well, a hobby, I guess. I don't know if it's a career net per se. Maybe in some bigger towns. You guys let me know. If you don't need professional flag wavers, people who do it for a living, they don't have another job, maybe a side hustle, doing some DoorDash or something. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> you guys let me know. I'm going to head out, go have some drinks with some friends. Get started a little early here at home while I'm editing this. I got to go. Peace. I ain't work but a stack on trying to get a pill. Ever since it changed my life, I'ma walk that walk on trying to get a price. Trying to do right now.